Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and today I'm pretty excited to be able to share a great find that I discovered. It's a website called TwoBox.com and I'll have all the information for you in the description of this video as well as in my blog post. And one of the reasons I'm super excited about this website is because I love shopping and being able to get great deals just like everyone else and when I saw the price cuts on this website I was thrilled not only that but their selection for things like small kitchen appliances tools and accessories bakeware tableware and so on I was just thrilled and knew I had to check it out so one of the things that I got that I was super excited about is this digital air fryer now I've never used an air fryer before and what you're going to see next is a quick demo of me making some hash browns in it for the first time and I was absolutely thrilled with the way they turned out unfortunately the part where I show you how crispy and crunchy and delicious they are of my video got corrupt so you will see everything up to that point and then I'm going to show you some of the other small kitchen appliances and tools that I got for my kitchen so definitely head on over to TwoBox one of the amazing things about this website is they actually give you links so that you can comparison shop and see what a great deal you're getting now I also got this retro toaster oven it's a four slice retro toaster oven and it retails for forty four dollars and if you click on the Creighton barrel link they show you a comparable one for seventy dollars so I think that's great that they could show you you know exactly what you're saving and you're able to get the same almost the same exact product or an equivalent to it and it works just as good and the quality is just as amazing so I've been using these products for about two weeks now and I'm absolutely in love with them and I'm super excited to be able to share these amazing deals with you because that's what we do at sassytownhouseliving.com we love to share the best of everything that we find and I'm thrilled with two box so let me move forward with the demo and show you exactly what I got from two box and be sure to head on over and check out their site I know that you will love their things just as much as I do hi folks Carol Ann here from sassytownhouseliving.com and today I'm super excited to be able to share with you this awesome air fryer that I got from two box Dot com. It retails for $90 and it's all digital. The whole panel is digital. And I've never used an air fryer before, so I know that, you know, they've been a thing for a while and a lot of people are loving them and using them. So I figured I'd jump on the bandwagon and get one. And this particular air fryer, like I said, it retails for $90 on um, two bucks and I'll have all the information for you in the description of this video as well as on my blog post and this particular um, air fryer that I got is a 3.8 quart digital air fryer and it comes with some awesome tongs that you get it comes with a little baking pan um, a silicone mat a nice silicone mat and it also comes with this awesome little um, like metal rack with four skewers so if you want to skewer some chicken or beef or vegetables make like a shish kebab thing in here you can absolutely do that too so um, like I said this particular air fryer is 3.8 quarts and it's your typical air fryer it does everything that other air fryers do except I got it from two box and um, the prices are a lot more reasonable on there because you're getting um, the same quality but without having to pay for like high-end brand names so it's got an LED screen that allows you to adjust your cooking time 
So um, it works in, in very much the same way, as you can see. Let me just open and close that again. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. So when I, when I open it, the digital screen goes off and then there you go, it shoots back on. And um, once you turn the power on, you can easily use this the same way that you use any other air fryer. There are temperature um, timers up and down. This tells you um, how, like what to cook. So that setting is for fries, um, seafood, bake, baked goods and so on. And you just circle around until you get to the one that you want. And it also displays up here, uh, fries you cook 15 to 20 minutes and so on. Lobster eight to 15 cake 20 to 30 and so on. I'm not going to bore you by reading all the temperatures, but it's your typical air fryer. Okay. And, um, you just pull this out and load this up with your product, set your temperature and go. So what I'm going to be cooking today, let me grab it for you, are some tater tots and we love tater tots around here and instead of having to cook them in the oven i'm going to try and cook them in my air fryer and um, see if they still maintain that level of golden crispiness on the outside that you would get is if you oven baked it so let's get this party started okay so i'm just going to load up my basket with some tater tots we don't need too many, it's just for two people today. And then we're just going to put a very little bit, a few drizzles, not even a teaspoon of oil in there. And then we're going to close her up and then we're going to set it for fries. So I just have to toggle over and hit start. Now, as you can see, the fan is spinning around, so it's starting up, and after it's done, I'm going to show you just how awesome they came out. And like I said, hopefully, we'll still get that delicious crispiness that I would if I baked these in the oven, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so it looks like our tater tots are done, and we're going to take a look at them. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's get them in the pan. Okay, so all we're going to do, we just lifted the basket out of the base, and now we're going to see. Very easy to do. And now we have some delicious, crispy tater tots. And now we're going to taste them and see if they came out exactly like the ones that we bake in the oven. So the other thing that I got from chewbox.com is this gorgeous retro four slot toaster oven. And I absolutely love the look and feel of it. I love the stainless steel and blue, like a turquoise blue enamel style. And it has crumb trays. So all you have to do is pull these out and you can very easily clean the crumbs. And both sides are independent of each other. So there's a crumb tray for this side too. It's very lightweight and it's just adorable. It's like an homage to the 50s, and I love the look and feel of this. This is going to look stunning on my countertop, and there are many times when I don't feel like cooking toast in my huge toaster oven, which I think you can see right over there. I have a really big toaster oven and it's very frustrating to cook toast in there because the bottom side never seems to cook as good as the top side so this is very essential 
to own. Don't think that having a toaster oven is the solution for your toast or your bagels, because even when I put it on toast, it doesn't really toast things properly and evenly. So I'm really excited about this toaster oven. And like I said, each side is independent from the other. So if you only feel like cooking two slices of toast, you can. And then you've got some buttons down here. Again, separate buttons for each side. You've got cancel, bagel, and defrost. And then you've got knobs that you use for the type of toast that you want. Um, and they give you a handy little guide here. So like level one, you would get your toast like almost raw. And then level two, you get a nice starting to be golden brown. You've got level three, four, five, and six. And six would be, you know, almost burnt or burnt toast. And all you have to do is choose the level that you like. And this is the result that you get. So this is awesome because we love our toast at level three. So all we have to do is turn the knob to the desired um, setting and we will be able to get our toast at that level. So I'm really excited to be able to have that toaster oven. It has, it features extra wide slots at the top, which is really nice. And you can see when you push down on them, the little baskets seem to close in on the toast, which is great. It also is self-centering, and I guess that's what that does. It centers the toast so that you get an even, crisp uh, color all the way around. It's got six levels of browning, which I just showed you, the six levels. And it's got the crumb trays, and it's got the um, stainless steel and enameled blue finish. So this is absolutely perfect. I'm going to be using this every day instead of my big bulky toaster oven. So I'm super psyched. I love the look. I love the retro feel. This is perfect to put on your countertop. It looks great and it's an awesome price too. And I'll have all the information for you again in the description as well as in my blog post. So let me show you the next thing I got from Two Box. So the next thing I got from Two Box are these kitchen shears and we're always in need of some good kitchen shears. And if you check out twobox.com, you will be able to see the great prices that they have for all these different kitchen items. So I haven't opened it yet. So let's open it together. So we have our little two box card in there. And now we have three pair of wonderful kitchen shears. And this is exactly what we needed. These are nice and big. The edges look really sharp, very easy to hold in your hand, very comfortable. I like this like uh, almost silicone rubbery grip here. So you got a, a really large size and then I got a smaller size. Again, very fluid, very easy to use. And I got a nice smaller pair too. So let's just see how they cut a piece of paper. Oh, perfectly. Perfectly. These are great. Very nice. This is going to be a very helpful tool in my kitchen for cutting whatever I need to cut. So the next thing I got from Two Box is this awesome vegetable peeler. And this vegetable peeler is supposed to be awesome. Now, as you can see, I have not tried it yet, but we're going to demo it right now. Okay, so the very last item that I got from twobox.com is this Koozie Box Professional Blender. And we love to make smoothies and different types of drinks, so I'm pretty excited to use this. This is a heavy duty 1450W motor. It has high speed functionality with a Japanese bearing. It has variables, variable speed control with pulse. It's got overheat, overload, and surge protection. And it also features a safety switch. So let's get this open and see what it looks like. So I wanted to show you this amazing blender by Cozy Box. 
and it is just designed beautifully. So I wanted to give you a close up because not only is the design and the color beautiful, it's just, it looks stunning on my countertop too. It has so many different settings. So this retails for $110 on the two box website. It has variable speed dials, multifunction and the high speed um, settings. It's got a 68 ounce capacity, easy cleanup, and it comes with this plastic hand um, temper, they call it. And what you do is um, you, can, you can just take this plastic piece out of the top where that sits and you put this in and I guess this is for pushing down your vegetables and making sure that everything is blended um, perfectly and that does come with it and if you see here all of the different settings that we have so we have fruit jam meat vegetables grains smoothie beans so you can do your coffee beans in here and also make soy milk and then we have our knob setting there for jam fruit low speed high speed grains and smoothie and we have a power switch here and on this side we have pulse our pulse switch this is one of the most amazing blenders that i've ever owned i love all the different settings you can do just about everything with this blender and i love this plastic um, base to it it has your um, measuring on the side so you can make sure that you get the exact amount that you need and it's very easy to clean very easy to take apart and clean and that's what the base looks like and then all you have to do is just your typical blender just sit it back on the top and there you go thanks so much for watching i'm so excited about everything i got from two box and i'm going to be showing you in the future the recipes that i use with this blender for some of our juices and some of our smoothies so definitely stay tuned because we have some great recipes coming up and i'm going to show you how i make them with this blender so thanks again for watching i really appreciated it if you can subscribe to my channel i would be ever so grateful and thumbs up this video as well and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them i will absolutely be sure to get back to you and thanks again and have yourself a great and safe day